Hello everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. Thank you as always so much for being here. Tonight I am watching a movie that I've wanted to watch for a long time. It's pretty much not gonna win a poll on Patreon, I know that. It probably won't get a lot of views here on YouTube, but I still just really wanna watch it. So I'm calling this Cassie's Popcorn Pick of the Month where I just gotta pick a movie that I wanna see. Remember how I've seen like every chick flick because that was the only thing I watched basically before I started this channel? Well, there are a few that I have not seen. One of which I'm watching tonight, it is called Say Anything. Like I said, I've been wanting to watch this forever, ever since they referenced it in Easy A with the jukebox, boombox. I know John Cusick is in this and I loved him in Serendipity. I don't know who the girl is though. Remember, if you wanna check out my Patreon, you can do that here in the link below. You can have early access voting on polls and full length reactions. And then if not, it's always helpful if you can like and subscribe. Sorry, I have to say it. I am really, really excited. This just feels like the perfect post-Halloween scary movie watching party with my friends. Let's get started. Lloyd, she's being difficult. I'm gonna take out Diane Court again. He looks so young, but his voice is exactly the same. I'm gonna call her. She's a brain. Trapped in the body of a game show hostess. Oh, that's what's cool about her. I wouldn't get my hopes up. It's just you're a really nice guy, and we don't want to see you get hurt. I want to get hurt. You know, you gotta put yourself out there sometimes. <gasps> is this her? <laughs> Seattle. I have glimpsed our future, and all I can say is go back. Break, break line. I didn't think anyone would get it. You're very funny. I don't get it. Go back. Maddie, 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 Maddie. Talk about going for it. <laughs> high school, high school, high school. We're going to remember this student who said, Hey world, check me out. Miss Diane Court. It is who he loves. Thank you. Look at those eyes. I've glimpsed our future, and all I can say is, go back. <laughs> it's almost over. Uh, we've gone to school together for three years. What's going to happen to us? You want to be happy, go to college, maybe raise a family. But what if that doesn't happen? When I think about the future, the truth is I am really scared. Is that how it ended? They look so much older than high school. I mean, they always do in high school movies. Do me a favor, take a picture of me. That's just so embarrassing. Please? Come on! So who's Lloyd? What click is this? She's the brains, who's he? That? Graduation, and no one was there. Yeah, it's no problem. I called mom and dad in Germany. It's like they were there. Why do you eat that stuff? There's no food in your food. Not too loud. The black one's there for a reason. Hey, my brother, can I buy a copy of your Hey Soul classics? You have to go buy your own. Okay. Why can't you be his uncle and not his playmate? <sighs> Same thing. How hard is it just to decide to be in a good mood and then be in a good mood? It used to be fun, warped and twisted and hilarious. I'm sorry, T. Oh. I am not T I M. That was hilarious once, wasn't it? Dad, you have to teach me the stick shift this weekend. I'm gonna show you something. Where does parents go? This guy's so familiar to me. The dad. Now this is the only thing your mother ever gave me that I kept. Wow, it's beautiful. He's so proud of her. I really applaud you today, honey. They didn't know me. Everybody thinks I'm a priss. It's all working out for you, honey. The summer schools, all the vacations you gave up, all working stop out it, just like Stop it, stop it, stop it. Sorry. I love but you, But did Dad. she have fun? I think you gotta be a little of both, right? <laughs> Cobra Kai, Cobra Kai. <laughs> He's doing it? Getting all pumped out <laughs> to call. Hello, may I please speak with Diane, please? Is this the guy with the Mustang? No. The guy with the dots? No, actually, basically, uh, you don't know me. I drive a blue Chevy Malibu with you. Why don't I just get a phone? Uh, Lloyd Dobler, 555. Five, five. 
pretty great, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Good afternoon. He did it. Jim Court. No, this is her father. What? Yes, right away. What? Oh, I thought something bad happened. Ricky, don't lose that number. What? What? I just had a phone call. You won the Reed Fellowship. I'm gonna study at the finest institute in England. You stand up straight and admit you're special. I'll have to go on a plane. Worry about that later. What's the Reed Fellowship? It starts out with everybody and it narrows through your life. The one brilliant person who is so special they celebrate you on two continents. This is a lot of pressure on this young girl. Diane Court. Don't, don't, don't go in there, you... <laughs> oh, man. The downfalls of landlines. Hi, you called me? Uh, I just wanted to congratulate you on that scholarship to England. Your speech was really incredible. Thank you very much. Well, what a day, huh? Quick question. Ask her out. Do you know who I am? We sat together at Bell Square. Do you remember? No, I read it on the message. Okay, um, let's go out. Thanks, but I'm busy. You busy on Friday? I have some things to do around the house. Oh, she doesn't want to go out with him. I lived in England for three months. Enormous amount of tips. Many tips. He's trying so hard. Give him an inch, Diane. I'll go. You will, really? I'll go. All right, we're going out. He's actually being pretty smooth. She doesn't even know who he is. <coughs> he's nice to kids. That means he's a nice guy. Even though he wears that coat. Lloyd Dobbins, sir. Uh, I'll tell you a couple things about myself. I've been overseas for a couple semesters, now I'm back. I'm an athlete, so I rarely drink. And you heard of kickboxing, sport of the future? Don the Dragon Wilson, <laughs> Benny the Jenner Kiedis. I can see by your face, no. My point is you can relax because your daughter <laughs> will be safe with me for the next seven to eight hours, sir. He did pretty good. Is she around? Yeah. Uh, honey? Hey, honey. I love a first date. I mean in a movie, not personally. Uh. Let's a popular guy. Everyone knows his name. I used to be the key master. The key master? I have to judge who can drive home and who can't. Anybody that graduated, big new guy! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm so many cute guys. You do! I'm going to get you. Ah! Is that the guy from Entourage? What's his name? How'd you get Diane Court to go out here? I called her up! But how come it worked? I mean, like, what are you? I'm Lord Dobbler. This gives me hope. Thanks. <laughs> I wrote 63 songs this year. They're all about Joe, and I'm going to play every single one of them tonight. I just saw Joe. Who's you don't Joe? have to be so dramatic. You did try and kill yourself because of the guy. I am fine now. I am all right. Did Joe come with me, man? Right, yeah. right. Well, at least they're being responsible. You missed every one of your career counseling sessions. Let's do this right now. No way. You have to decide on a career. My dad's a lieutenant colonel in the army. He wants me to join. He wants to pull mm. some strings. There's no possible way. I'm looking for a dare to be great situation. Everybody in that party put something on their record except you. How many of them really know what they want, though? Mm hmm. He's right. Did you really come here with Boy Dobbler? How did that happen? <laughs> he made me laugh. I'll be home before dawn, okay? Would you guys sign my annual? Would you sign mine? Yeah. Did you really have to call your dad? Tell him nothing. I make sure I enter the house crying. Leave me alone. I loved your speech when you said you were scared. Good job, man. Why is this making me so happy? And why are they not hanging out? <gasps> I'm guessing that's Joe. I'm freaking with her head, man. She's a person. Very talented. Why do you think I keep the tape? She's gonna be valuable someday. No, never, ever, ever! Don't you ever think it! <laughs> She's intense. <laughs> I like her. Oh my god. <sighs> what were those? Just kidding. <laughs> I'll be okay. Keep Don't worry. Yourself. Except the other end of the house. It's too bad more guys can't be like Lloyd. He checks up on me, look. I got some more songs to you. Joe, my eyes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't do it, Joe. Hi, Joe. How are you? 
<laughs> Her voice. I love you. I love you too. You invade my soul. Mimi's gonna go to college and I'm gonna be alone. Don't make it that easy on him. Have sex with me. Goodbye, Joe. Come on, Joe. You're better than that. I hereby surrender my duties as keymaster. Give me a beer. Certainly. <gasps> oh. I wish he wouldn't do that. Blech. Hey, that's it. That's my house. Is that her dad gonna be mad? She was out all night. Uh, did you? So what did they write in your book? Glad I finally met you. Always seem nice. Wish I could have known you more. A bunch of stuff like Lloyd, see you around maybe. Nobody knew me before tonight. They knew of you. Now they know you. I'm so glad you did this. My parents met up when I was 13. Her voice is so soothing. I have to choose between the two of them. So I tell my dad. Watch out for that glass. Thanks. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I've never really gone out with someone as basic as you. So it's your job this summer. It's been a great day. I want to see you again. I want to see you as much as I can before you leave. You call me tomorrow. Today's tomorrow. I call me later. <laughs> <laughs> he went for the kiss. She went for the hug. Oh, man. Lloyd was such a gentleman. He was funny and strange. And I blew it. I called him basic. <laughs> I don't think he's reeling in embarrassment. <laughs> Lloyd is doomed. Meaning, she made the second date a family audition. It's too much pressure. I told him to be himself. I love Lloyd. I'm his fan. If you were to die in court, would you honestly fall for Lloyd? She just said how good of a guy he is. Yeah. 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 They all secretly love Lloyd. Boy, this is a mother dictionary. I've had it forever. I used to have this thing of marking the words that I look up. <laughs> she is a brain. I have this one. Nice one. Yeah, she will. Think so. Is this the first kiss? Get back downstairs, huh? Yeah. One time on a date, he went for the cheek, I went for the lips. It was as awkward as it sounds. Then I went back in my car and screamed out loud. When she was eight years Dad. old, she. Now, why can't I tell the story? I decided to take one of the first airplane. I thought that if babies were on the plane, the plane couldn't crash. And all the babies were crying. I thought they knew something that I didn't. So anyway, they closed the doors, <laughs> and she starts to scream. And then you got up and you told them to turn the plane around. Which they did. Somebody on the plane worked in a recording studio. I wanted to know if you could come over and record her scream. Every once in a while, in a commercial, you can hear me scream. <laughs> Tough crowd. It's a great story. The way you talk. I'm just like that with, I'm not even like that with anybody. So, Lloyd, what are you going to do now? What are your plans for the future? Uh oh. Da -na 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 -na. As much time possible with Diane? Oh, really? I don't want to sell anything, buy anything, or process anything as a career. Buy anything sold or processed, or repair anything sold, bought, or processed. You know, as a career, I don't want to do that. So, what I've been doing lately is kickboxing, which is a uh, new sport. Sport of the future. But I think it's got a good future. <laughs> I don't know. I can't figure it all out tonight, so I'm just going to hang with your daughter. Well, parents don't really like that answer. Mr. James Court, yeah. we're special agents of the Internal Revenue Service. You are under criminal investigation. I have guests here. The IRS comes to your house? Your room is always ready for you. You can always come home. If they ask you questions, would you please say something nice about him? Oh, right. Oh, here's Ray. <laughs> so what are you doing after work? Want to do something later? You don't like old people, do you? I used to work at a smorgasbord. The old people would flock there, and they just <laughs> jam their mouths, you know? Maybe everything has no meaning because you wake up and then you're frying burgers. And you're like 60, you still need to think about those kind of things. That's the reason I was, um... I think that's ageism. Maybe their mouths don't work as well as yours. Well, you're really turning me around here. I'm just looking at it the wrong way. She looks good in yellow. You have to meet Bess. She's 93, she's a writer. I told her about you. Tell her about me. We still haven't seen the kiss, right? You're too tall. <laughs> she likes you. <laughs> uh, I'm Lloyd. We're gonna watch this movie Cocoon. <laughs> I feel so bad being with you. So I feel like I should be spending some more time with my dad. I feel really overloaded. She's very honest. Are you friends? Yeah. Potential. Friends with potential. Friends with potential. Oh, all right, 
Listen, I wreck you, Lucky. This is very important. You are a little bit. You are a little bit. Start to give. Who here can drive stick? I learned my freshman year of college. I'm not a great driver. I stalled 16 times in the middle of an intersection. Basically, everyone was honking at me and I just gave up. Like the kiss! Oh my gosh! Was that the kiss? Anyways, I just gave up and started crying, put my head in my hands. Some kind soul saw me. He said, move over, and he drove me to my house. I feel like Lloyd would be that kind of guy. Oh my goodness. Friends with potential. So cool. Why are you shaking? Do the racket. Is he okay? <laughs> Listen to the song. It's a really good song. Uh oh. I have a feeling there's gonna be a talk. Dad, I'm sorry. You should be. I just wanna know if you're alright. I'm fine. You can say anything to me. I hope you still know that. I spent the night with him. I'm scared to death of what you must think of me right now. Did she spend the night or did she spend the night? Do you know what he did the first night I went out with him? He pointed out some glass for me to walk around. And I always think of that when people say, what are you doing with Lloyd Dobler? And I never get nervous around him. But I could feel him getting anxious. I knew that there would be a confrontation over getting physical. And he started to get that look at the end of the night. Do you know that look? Did he ever get rough with you? No. I decided not to sleep with him. And I attacked him anyway. It always feels good to tell you the truth. Did you sleep with her? Look at his face. He did the deed. They went from first kiss to that real fast. Send her flowers or write her a letter or something. He wrote her a letter. I'll always be there for you. All the love in my heart. I've never gotten a letter like this of you. I dream about it. So what do you think? Is it Get ready for greatness, Lloyd. Cynthia Bramson estate was worth how much? Why would you stay so long with an operation that is so clearly not a growth enterprise? Taking care of people isn't a growth enterprise, Mr. Samuels. Do we trust her dad? I feel like he's a good guy. I'm not asking you to sever all relations with the boy. Give him a present. Give him this pen. In a million years, I would never give him a pen. I like him. I like him? I love him. No, that's great. I... It's great to hear you say that because why am I so fixated? Am I being selfish? What is happening? I just want you to have everything. Is that wrong? This is such an interesting relationship. You think I'm guilty? Some computer spits out your name and another honest man. Live your life. I love you. Did you just brush off that hug? Hello? Hi. The phone smile. Did she get his letter? To check your mail tomorrow. Your letter came yesterday. It did? Uh -huh. I never sent a letter like that, you know? I felt like I wanted to tell you something that I didn't put in the letter. So, um, I just wanted no, to tell you that I love you. thank you. Let's not start putting things on this level. She's stressed. How can I She's... look at you and say this? Focus on the I road, think boy. That we should spend some time apart. Did you just break up with me? No, we decided that we're friends. <sighs> the friend zone. I must think I'm a dick. No, I yeah, don't. You do. We shared the most intimate thing two people can share. It's because your dad. No. You talked to Corey? Why? Did you tell Corey? Well, she figured it out. Did you tell anybody? It's just my dad. I told your dad? You have Corey. I have my dad. Forget I said it. I said what I thought I meant. Oh my gosh. This is hard for me, too. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just take this pen, please, and write me. <laughs> oh. Don't believe this. You just broke up with me. I can feel it. I can literally feel the pain of high school breakups. Oh! <sighs> oh! Now what? Hello, Constance. Who's Constance? She broke up with me. You like crying. Oh. She gave me a pen. She gave my heart and she gave me a pen. Why don't you just come Of course it's raining. You know, I haven't called you lately because I didn't want to be reminded of dying. I met her in a mall. She didn't know our relationship was doomed. <laughs> it's so dramatic, but it's so real. You know, I should hang out with more guys. 
No babe is worth it. No. They spend your money and they tell their friends everything. Find a girl that looks just like her, Dude, yeah. nail her, and then dump her, man. Dump her. Oh my gosh. Bitches, man. <laughs> I got a question. <laughs> this is you guys real. Know so much about women. How come you're here completely alone? No women anywhere. By choice, man. That's yeah, why man. That's conscious choice. choice. <laughs> I want to be here. <laughs> I want to be here. I was in love once. I got hurt really bad. I never want to go through that again. You gotta get out of here, Lloyd. I don't want you surrounding yourself with these people. And we're going to a kegger, Lloyd. We're gonna find you one hot lit babe instantly, promise. I'm not gonna be somebody like Diane Court at a kegger. Girl made me trust myself. I was feeling satisfied. Then she cuts me loose. She won't talk to me. Won't look at me. Come on! Please wait. What are we waiting? Dude, I don't even feel that way about my car. Name a babe, all right? I'll set you up with it. Diane Court. Lloyd, this is not healthy. That was a mistake. <laughs> At least he knows it too. The rain on my car is a baptism. <laughs> I got it all figured out, Corey. You start out depressed, everything's kind of a pleasant surprise. Why don't you just call Diane again? She wants me, she can come to me. This is my eighth and final call. Um, well, go ahead, pick it up if you want. Corey, if you're listening to this, all right. If I pick it up, we'll only get back together. Well, then don't pick it up. Maybe the world is a blur of food and sex and spectacle. You're probably standing there monitoring the letter. Nuke it. <laughs> Claim it. Destroy it. Later. Hello? Oh. Is it a gift for your wife? It's my daughter. She won a fellowship. I'll take the whole set. You got the best smile I've seen all week. I like yours too. Oh. <laughs> I just don't know if we trust the dad. What are you doing for lunch? I'm sorry, but they turned down your card. I'm supposed to confiscate. Why don't you just go ahead and take it? You're very kind. Whoa, this scene just got so heavy. Finish your cup in here. Oh my gosh. Does that mean he's guilty? This is it. This is it. Choose me. Love me. Does she know it's him? This is a grand gesture, Lloyd. Come on. She just left him hanging. Could you please talk to me? Be a little decent. We believe when they die, he takes their money. Pardon me? Why don't you check it out for yourself? Is everything nice, but not too nice? Are there a lot of uh, rugs, pieces of art, stereo equipment? Does he give a lot of gifts? Do the major items in your house hover around the nine thousand dollars? You're trying to get me range? to say something. Don't let your father's business infect your life. How can you say that? Because he's guilty. They would never say this to her. It's going to get worse. Now, if I were you, I would take that fellowship. Dad. Art. Rugs. I don't get why those are a giveaway, but. What is she looking for? Oh. Dad? Oh. Did you do it? No, don't be ridiculous. I swear to God. I swear to God. I found the money. You stole from them. You lied to me. This money's for you. I took better care of those people and their families do. You stole from them. I make their lives better. Oh, no. You let me defend you. And I trusted you. Why are you being so hateful to me? Is this because of Lloyd? He's being very manipulative. I don't want to leave something out because I know I can say anything to you. You're a liar and a thief. Don't take it easy how bad you make me. I'm the only dad you've got. Say that it's not good for him. You're right. Wait a minute, Oh, this just got intense. It does seem pretty good. Hey, Lloyd, someone's here to see you. <gasps> He'd never been knocked down before. Lloyd, I'm sorry. What do you want? My father's guilty. I just left home. I need you. Don't be proud, Lloyd. If I hurt you again, I'll die. Hurt me again. Give her a chance. I love you. I love you. How many more times do I have to say it? One more time would be nice. I love you. Oh, this is tough because she's in a really vulnerable time. He was so hurt, though. Here, because he needs someone or because he needs me? That's a really good question. Very mature question. I don't care. I need you. <laughs> 
$75,000 fine and no jail. This guy's been ripping off grandma and grandpa for 17 years. $100,000 fine in three months? $125,000 in nine months. I can accept that. So he has to go to jail. She wouldn't get out of the car. Are you going to England, mother? I thought about it quite a bit. I realized what I probably should do is just do all the stuff that I've been avoiding in a big way. What is she going to do? She's going to run off with some English guy? There's no way. You know, my daughter's a lot different from me. I know. Very talented. I know. But then I reconsidered. <laughs> what I want to do for a living, I want to be with your daughter. <laughs> Good at it. For a living. You're not a permanent part of her life. You're a distraction. Oh. I'm the distraction that's going with her name, sir. You all right, sir? I'm incarcerated, Lloyd! And I care for the life of me. Figure out how she could champion mediocrity the way she's learned around you. Tell him how you really feel. I have a letter from your daughter. She can still be angry at this. It's got to get better. As it does, if it's the version sign, I still can't help loving you. He's helping her and him. Just her name. Just knowing the version like that exists. That's got to be a good thing, right? Got to be a good thing. This must be really, really hard for her. I don't know what to say to you, so goodbye. You could have told me the truth. I'm so sorry. I love you, Dad. I know what he did was really bad, but I feel sorry for him still. And for her. This must be a very emotional time in her life. Like me. She still cares. He's going to England with her. Gonna date her for a living. <laughs> oh. Wing adjustment. Blink twice if you're fine. I'm fine. Okay. Very standard for a second. Okay. He's so sweet. Anything happens, it usually happens in the first five minutes of the flight. You hear that smoking sign go ding, you know everything's gonna be okay. This is a really happy ending. Nobody really thinks it will work, do they? We just described every good success story. Where's the ding? It's coming. I'm exactly like her. Every little movement on a flight, my heart just drops. Any second now. I'm always looking at other people's faces to see if they're worried too. They're gonna be okay. You just want to be around Lloyd. It feels like you just want to be around him. And they lived happily ever after. He was the dad in Frasier. Had to look it up. My dad used to watch that on the TV all the time. There's something about these 80s romantic comedies that is so different than the ones that I watched in high school, like uh, 10 Things I Hate About You, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, She's All That. There's this seriousness about them and they're validating the teenager's angsty feelings and like I said, I could really feel that breakup pain and her like emotional whirlwind and anxiety about her dad and someone she trusts. I just, he was so likable. Lloyd is so likable and witty and their relationship was so sweet and he was so there for her and it was just, it felt really real. It wasn't as cliche as the other ones I've watched. She was so quirky, the girl. I still can't believe like the scene, the boombox scene. She didn't even go to the window. I thought that was gonna be like her going to the balcony and be like, I love you still. Oh, he just stood there. <laughs> it makes me wanna go watch every John Cusack movie. Cusack, Cusack sounds wrong. Makes me want to go watch all his movies, Serendipity again. I love that one. I really enjoyed it. Just what I needed. In my head, they made it through her fellowship in England and then came back and he decided to get a dream business to open up his own kickboxing gym, which is now franchised. He's doing very well. She is a lawyer. They're very successful and have a very happy family and they're still very much in love to this day. And whenever they go on flights, he still brings her little care packages and talks her through the whole thing until the ding. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching along with me and have a wonderful night. I'll see you soon.